Hi, I'm Peter Marks with Napa Valley Wine Academy, here to talk about wines from Queriana in Spain. Now this region is known for the Garnacha grape, even though the name of Queriana comes from the grape Queriana, which is Carignan here in the United States. But the main grape is Garnacha, and this wine is 100% Garnacha made by the winery Monasteria de las Viñas. This is a winery that is named after a famous monastery that was built in the 11th century by Cistercian monks. And what I love about this wine, first of all, I'm a great Garnacha fan, and I love wines from the Southern Rhone, but if I can find a wine like this, which retails for about $20 a bottle that tastes as good as a Chateauneuf de Pop, I'm in. This is a wine from the 2016 vintage, and it's made from old vines, vines that are a minimum of at least 40 years of age. Whew. And this wine is hedonistic in its aroma. Blackberry, huckleberry, boysenberry. There's a little bit of oak. Um, it spends four months in French oak, but it's mostly based on, uh, on the fruit. There's a little cedar and maybe some baking spice from the oak. But this, this is a wine that just leaps out of the glass with some really ripe, dark berry character. Oh, Mally. Mm. Mm. You know, it's almost like biting into a cherry pie, but it's got bright acidity. It's got some really good levels of tannin that just help to give some structure to the wine. So this is a wine that delivers not only fruit, bright acidity to keep it lively and fresh, and add some elegance to the wine. Even though this wine has so much ripe fruit, there's a lingering elegance with just a little bit of interplay with that oak that just makes it unbelievably delicious. This finish is gonna last a long time, I can tell. I'm already just savoring how good it tastes. This is a really unique style because a lot of Garnacha wines can sometimes be masked by a lot of oak or can be masked by too much alcohol. This wine is balanced, it's fresh, and it's delicious. So, enjoy, salute.